Someone commented, why didn't Rivian hold a space with Elon Musk for their announcement? Someone said, Rivian, you can't afford eight bucks. But the last comment is the funniest. They're just stubborn or prideful. Or it could mean that the company's in more serious financial trouble than they thought because they don't have a blue check mark. In my opinion, and most people's opinions, Tesla has been the number one go-to supplier for electric vehicles. However, there are some other companies that happen to intrigue me including Rivian. Well, in the near future, you may be able to charge your Rivian at a Tesla supercharger. This is obviously great for Tesla because they're gonna be able to charge and make more money off of other car manufacturers charging their stations. And this also helps level the gap between Tesla and other electric vehicle makers. It's something that really has a symbiotic relationship that could help both brands. I'm sure there's other brands as well, but I know that Ford also announced a similar partnership as well. This is a major development for the EV industry because Tesla's supercharging network is huge. One of the problems with electric vehicles is the range anxiety. You wonder how can you get from place to place on road trips? Well, you can only add so much range to an electric vehicle. Adding charging networks is really what makes the idea of driving an electric car on a road trip practical. Yeah, you have to stop. Yeah, it's not for everyone, but it does make it possible. And this is absolutely huge. Supposedly, the ability to charge your Rivian car will be available at Tesla superchargers in spring of 2024. Rivian is going to provide an adapter that will allow Rivian cars to charge at Tesla supercharging stations. This adapter will be available with all new Rivian purchases and will be available for purchase for existing Rivian owners. There's several positive implications for Rivian owners because of this news. First, it simply gives Rivian owners more charging options. Not only is the Tesla supercharging network the largest that there is, but it's also the fastest growing as well. It currently has over 30,000 superchargers in over 25 countries. This will allow Rivian owners to be able to charge and travel more confidently knowing that they have access to this infrastructure. Not only will this help Rivian owners, but this is going to help the whole EV industry as a whole. Rivian's decision is gonna help other car manufacturers to make similar decisions and therefore expand the electric vehicle market. Supposedly, from what I've seen, the adapter that you will get with your Rivian car is going to be called the Magic Dock. The Magic Dock is a small portable device that plugs into the side of your Rivian car. The Magic Dock will have two ports, one for Tesla superchargers and one other for other electric vehicle charging stations, also known as DC fast chargers. The Magic Dock is expected to cost around $200. This is a major step forward for the EV industry and help make the transition to cleaner transportation. One of the best articles to read for more information on this is from Reuters through Yahoo Finance titled Exclusive EV Maker Rivian to Adopt Tesla's Charging Standard. Rivian also posted from their Twitter account saying, Today we signed an agreement with Tesla to adopt the North American Charging Standard. This opens charging for Rivian vehicles on Tesla's supercharger network across the United States and Canada. Access starts as soon as spring 2024. Ironically, Rivian's Twitter account, which if you didn't know, Twitter is also owned by Tesla owner Elon Musk. It's a little bit ironic that Rivian does not have a verified Twitter account. Kind of funny. Marquez Brownlee tweets, so far GM, Ford, and Rivian will all be switching to Tesla's NACS charging port and will start building cars with the new port in 2024 and 2025. And yes, he's right. There will definitely be more EV makers that are going to adopt this standard. Huge news. Tesla also retweeted it saying supercharger network, handshake emoji, Rivian owners. Rivian joins Tesla's charging network. No surprise as they are a day. Lucid, Ford, GM, and Polestar all need to focus on actually creating a profitable EV in America, something Tesla has already figured out quite well. Someone comments, LOL. For years, I've been like, sure, y'all can make a nice EV, but without a reliable charging infrastructure, the car quickly becomes an expensive paperweight. That's why Tesla is the only EV I can recommend, but looks like that's changing. I mean, Rivian is doomed regardless, but if my VW and Hi Hyundai follow suit, my next EV probably won't be a Tesla. That's a really good point. Tesla has been making affordable EVs. Obviously they have their Model S and their Model Y, which are not affordable, they're more luxury cars, but the Model 3 and Model Y have been more affordable choices. Well, if you open up this charging network to other electric vehicle makers, cars like the Chevy Bolt or you know the Hyundai, Hyundai I think it's the Hyundai Ionic 5 and 6, there's gonna be a lot more reliable and affordable electric vehicles out on the market. Now, personally, I think one of the advantages Rivian has over Tesla is they actually have a cool and normal looking truck. The Tesla Cybertruck not only doesn't exist and hasn't started production, it's rumored too soon, but a lot of people think it looks dumb and 
I'm not quite sold on it yet. I would rather drive a Rivian knowing that it's as reliable as a Tesla. Now that we don't know, which is why Tesla is more popular.